All right, guys, we are leveling up. In this module, we're going to talk about cascading style sheets. First, let's understand why CSS was created and why it's necessary. Now, if you think back to the 90s, web developers wanted to style up their websites, making it look the way that they wanted to. And it wasn't always pretty. But the tool set that they had in order to do this were very, very limited. And this is what it might look like if you only add HTML to style your websites. And as an aside, this is a real website and you can still visit it at this URL. Now, in order to style up the website using pure HTML, which is all they really had access to, they had to use HTML tags. For example, the font tag, which you can use to change the font of the text being displayed. And you can also use things like the center tag, which simply centers any element on screen. Now, in addition to that, people also used attributes. For example, you can set the H1's background color using the background color attribute to a particular color hex code, and that would change the H1 to a different color. Now, the problem really comes along when you start messing around with the layout using just HTML. Because as we've seen, in order to change our layout for our personal website so that we can have text and images that exist side by side, we had to use tables. And the problem with tables is that they are really, really wordy. You have to write a lot of code in order to do something very simple, which is displaying that image next to your H1 and your paragraphs, having it on the same horizontal level. And look at how much code we had to write just to do that simple thing. Now, the other problem with tables is that it's very, very easy to make syntax errors and it's very easy to mess up. If you say forgot a TD here, you would end up with errors all over the place and it's very difficult to debug as well. And also, if you started getting into more complex table layouts, you had to embed tables within tables in order to get more columns and more rows and more flexible layout. And the whole thing just became this horrible, horrible mess. So that's why people started using something called cascading style sheets. And this is what's called a style sheet or a style language in the sense that it can't really do anything by itself. Its only purpose in life is to style markup language. So for example, HTML or XML code. And in this module, we're going to explore all the powerful things that you can do with cascading style sheets to bring your website from the 90s into the current day and age. So enough talking, let's get started styling up our website using CSS.